Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna run you through the Teradek Bolt 4K wireless transmission system, its features and how you go about setting it up. Now as the name suggests, the Bolt 4K can transmit up to 4K DCI signals up to 60 frames a second in HDR, and that is of course in real time, visually lossless. Now there are three models that make up the Bolt 4K range. There's the Bolt 4K 750, the Bolt 4K 1500 and the Bolt 4K Max. And the real difference between these models is just the maximum operating range. Now the Bolt 4K 750 can work up to 750 feet. The Bolt 4K 1500, you guessed it, can work up to 1500 feet. And the Bolt 4K Max can go up to 3000 feet. You can actually extend that to 5000 feet if you use the additional antenna array. Now I've got the Bolt 4K 750 kit here with me. I've got the transmitter and the receiver, and that's what I'm gonna run you through in this video. But it is worth noting at this point that all the models can work with each other. You can have a Bolt 4K Max go into a 1500 or a 750, or vice versa. So it's really a very versatile modular wireless system that you can easily build up based on your production needs. You just need to be mindful of the operating distance. When you order your Bolt 4K kit, or the units individually, you can select what mount you want them to be supplied with, either gold mount or V mount, and we're running the latter. It's also worth noting that this can be easily changed out should you need to in the future. Both units have that mount on either side, so it can easily sandwich between the camera body or production monitor and the battery. Once the transmitter is mounted, we can then feed in the camera's output, and all models feature 12 GSDI and HDMI 2.0 inputs for you to do so. They do also come with SDI, HDMI and power cables, so you should be able to get up and running straight away. Then it's just a simple case of turning on the camera and the units. On the side, there's a small screen and joysticks that you can jump around the menu. And although it's small, it is functional. Now straight out of the box, these kits do come paired. But if they're not, it's very straightforward to quickly pair them using the menu system. Okay, so as you can see, we are now transmitting that 4K image from this Ursa G2 to the receiver behind me that's plugged into the small HD monitor. Now, this transmitter will actually automatically detect the incoming signal from the camera. Like I said before, you can go up to 4K DCI at 60 frames a second, and that's what will be transmitted. But you do have the option at the receiver of downscaling the output if you're using a monitor that is HD only. On the main screen of the transmitter unit, you can see what frequency we're operating on. And if we jump into that menu system, we can have some further control we can force the system to operate on a fixed frequency. And if we jump into the operating frequencies, we can select the one that we want. Alternatively, if I just go back and display that, you can see all the frequencies that we're allowing the system to utilize in normal operation. We can also switch the bandwidth from 20 megahertz to 40 megahertz, ideally if you're using the system in an area that has a lot of RF congestion. Operating at the lower 20 megahertz, half the bandwidth used for the video link, but effectively doubles the number of usable frequencies. On the receiving unit, we also have some other features that we can access. One particularly useful one is the spectrum analyzer. Activating this scans the five gigahertz spectrum in the given space that you're filming and displays how much competition there is in any of the given ranges. The lower the bar on the display, the more vacant that the RF range is. And then we can select that one to transmit on. It is worth stressing that the Bolt 4K will automatically select a backup frequency should the first one become too congested and make the switch automatically. You've also got the ability of displaying a 3D LUT on the output, particularly useful if your production monitor doesn't have the means to do so itself. There are some common preset LUTs already loaded into the unit, but you can of course import your own. Now other than the operating distance, the Bolt 4K Max does also have another variance in terms of the modes that it offers. It has a mode called Broadcast Mode, and unlike these other models, the 750 and the 1500, they can only send to up to six receivers. Broadcast mode and the 4K Max gives you an unlimited amount of receivers that you can use in your wireless setup. It's also worth noting that all of these models do have built-in Bluetooth as well, so you can connect to your phone, use the Teradek Bolt app, and you can see all the diagnostics of the units themselves. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, then click that like, maybe subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions, do just pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if you want some more information, just head over to the Holden website. Thanks for watching.